This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest today is Petra Mitchell, who is the CEO of Catalyst Connection, which has just received an amazing award that will help, I think, a lot of folks in our region. Petra, good to be with you. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, John. So before we get into the good news about some money that you have that you're going to spread around, let me first ask you to tell us what exactly is Catalyst Connection? Yeah, thanks, John. So Catalyst Connection is an economic development organization. We work with small and medium-sized manufacturers in southwestern Pennsylvania, and we basically help them with anything that they might need to grow their business and ultimately create and retain high-paying jobs for their families and their communities. Well, this is a very important service that you do, and I know you help lots of smaller manufacturers in the Pittsburgh area, and manufacturing has really been the heart and blood of so much of the Pittsburgh mm -hmm. region. So when I read that you've received a $10 million grant from the Appalachian Regional Council, that or commission, I guess it is, that will allow you to help smaller manufacturers with clean energy, I thought, wow, this is terrific. So tell me a little bit about what it is you're going to be doing. Yeah, it is very exciting, John, and we're, we're very um, thankful to the Appalachian Regional Commission for awarding us this grant opportunity. We will be working in a five-state region uh, around Pennsylvania and the counties uh, that are part of Appalachia, and we'll be working with the small and medium-sized manufacturers located in those counties, helping them to reduce their energy waste, improve their sustainability, and all of that will be to help them then participate in new energy economy supply chains that are being made available as a result of some very significant federal investments through things like the CHIPS Act, the Inflation Reduction Act, and the Infrastructure Act. The federal government is going to be investing billions of dollars, and we want to make sure that small and medium-sized manufacturers in our community are getting more than their fair share of those supply chain opportunities that will need it, be needed to build that infrastructure. So if I'm with a smaller manufacturing company and I want to go green, I want to become more clean, how do I get a hold of this money? Because I know you're not giving $10 million to one company. You're going to parse this out. How do you go yeah. about getting help? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll be uh, reaching out to all the manufacturers in our community and, of course, working with our partners to do the same. And we'll be able to communicate via our, our emails, our websites. And basically, the bottom line is really starting at the beginning. Where is that company today? What is their future strategy, their vision for a, a more sustainable business? Where do they see those opportunities for clean energy products, you know, it could be around energy use, but it could also be around waste reductions, decreasing emissions, um, anything, electric vehicles, um, all those kinds of things, energy efficiency, any place, what, what do they see as their opportunity for improvement? We want to work with them where they are, what their uh, opportunities are, and we'll help them to assess those opportunities. We'll help them to determine what that ROI is, identify providers that might be able to help them. And ultimately, yes, you're correct. We have financial assistance to help to pay for some of the costs associated with those improvements. And that's of what I like to hear. Good. And I like mm -hmm. to hear that. Ten million dollars. I read somewhere sixty percent could be allocated in Pennsylvania. Is that about well, right? Well, that yes. Um, of the communities that are being um, served by this initiative, there are about ten thousand manufacturers, and sixty percent of those manufacturers are actually in the Pennsylvania Appalachian counties. And so we're just approximately trying to allocate resources according to percent of manufacturers. Well, that's terrific news. And again, uh, Petra Mitchell at Catalyst Connection, thank you so much for the great work that you do and are continuing to do to help our manufacturers in the Pittsburgh region. Thank you for being thank with us. Thank you, John. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.